Hey, uh, George here. So, um, as I've mentioned in a, uh, a couple other vlogs and stuff, I haven't really made a big deal out of it yet, but um, <clears throat> I'm writing uh, libertarian fiction, mostly, yeah, science fiction, a lot of dystopian stuff, and uh, I have a novel out um, that is basically an agorist novel. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is um, uh, three projects I'm working on. The first one is a, a libertarian science fiction anthology which is, uh, I started work on a few months ago. I recently finished the story for it, um, which I'll tell you about soon. And several author, other authors, uh, libertarian uh, authors, have already finished their, their work as well, or at least first drafts, you know, which are really strong. Uh, I'm really impressed. And um, although, you know, we're running a little behind, I have uh, commitments from some kind of big names uh, in, you know, the Liberty... Well, really the biggest name in the liberty uh, science fiction world, libertarian science fiction world, and some other names too. Um, so we expect to publish the anthology. We already have around 50,000 words, and we expect to publish it uh, sometime in November. So so stay tuned for that. that that's going to be really good. Um, there's some really good stories in there. And oh, and the story that I'm working on for it, or my I have to finish the first draft. It's it's okay. It, the the story's there. It needs some work, of course. Um, it's called The Death Shop. And it's about a, um, a dystopian future in uh, England so far. I don't know if I'll change the setting or not. Where a mom is kind of living homeless on the streets and with her little daughter, her little girl, whose name is Texa. She named uh, Texa. She named the girl after Texaco, the, the uh, oil company. Uh, in hopes of winning a contest. Um, that's kind of how desperate things are. That's just one indicator. And anyway, things get increasingly desperate for uh, Elizabeth, that's the mom's name, in Texas. And Texas is just a little girl, you know, she doesn't really understand, um, you know, what it means to live on the street and all that. She's just interested in watching her shows. And things become so desperate, and there's a like a cleaning done in their sector, their protectorate by the authorities and um, they are trying to escape and they manage to get out because Elizabeth been, has been through these cleanings before they're no fun things are hopeless so uh, they um, go to the death shop and they decide to take or at least Elizabeth decides to take uh, her life and Texas life and then a scientist um, revives them, and uh, they're they're basically lab animals. That, that's where the story gets really interesting. So stay tuned for that. That should be out in sometime in November. And also, I'm working on a series. Uh, what I hope to turn into a series, uh, tentatively titled of novellas, tentatively titled "The Regulator," and it's about a um, a government employee. He works as like uh, an insurance regulator uh, for a state government, and um, he has a fatal disease, and so and he manages. You know, government benefits have expanded in this in this universe, and he um, his head is cryogenically frozen, paid for by the government, perhaps Obamacare, and uh, he wakes up in the future in a stateless future, a future where there really is no government. And so uh, he has to deal with the fact that, um, you know, a revolution took place and, you know, he demands his old job back with the state insurance regula um, regulatory agency. Not there. So they, get, they give him, they manage to swing, you know, after he's uh, gotten a new body, of course, and gone through therapy and all that, they manage to, uh, some, you know, doctors, his physical therapists and whatnot, out of the kindness of their own hearts, they get him a job uh, at customer service, supervising um, bots, really, it's customer service in an insurance company. And he discovers something. He discovers something that um, got past all the tight controls of the insurance company. And, uh, and that's, that's where it starts to get interesting. Uh, but uh, I'll have more about that soon. So 
that's 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 the fiction I'm working on, and my novel's for sale on uh, Amazon. I haven't really officially launched it yet. It's called Lando Cruz, and the Coup Conspiracy. And um, Lando is a young man, an agorist, a street uh, vendor, and currency runs a currency exchange in the near future, not too far away. And when his uh, it's kind of a slow motion economic collapse situation um, in Phil set in Philadelphia. And, um, you know, his uh, things kind of get hairy. The cops want more money for him, from him uh, in order to run his, uh, his currency, um, currency, what, exchange, which he runs under cover of a burrito stand. And uh, his, his family, his dear family, um, uh, suffer for his adhe adherence to his principles. And he has to go to extreme lengths to, to, to undo the damage that has happened. So anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for listening.